is a touch of tarot. Oh, you're starting off with the lovers. Awesome. Let me just get four more cards for you. If you'd like to join my Patreon, I do exclusive videos there. If you would like to book a reading, I have a website. The link's below. I also do Wizio readings, which are really quick, as in just because the, the way the setup is, I can do it literally right away. Um, it's hard to explain, but feel free to check out Wizio. I have offerings on there as well. Wow. Oh my gosh. Your message is already so amazing. Two more, please. And we got two more. Let's see. We use the bottom here. Um, okay. So let's see what's coming in for you, Taurus. I mean, we're starting with the lover. And what I'm seeing here with the first three cards, I'll just cut right to it and then we'll dissect it, is that there's a renewal to a situation, to a love situation um, that probably ended, you know. And when this renewal happens, I will say things are going to be glorious between you and this person because it's almost like you're going to look at each other through a different perspective, a thousand percent, like such fresh eyes. Um, so what I see is you were with someone or you have a very serious past with someone you have a heart connection to. Um, not only that, like I just feel like you have this vibration between the two. It's a very special connection. It could be your twin. It could be your soulmate. Um, I'm really feeling like Adam and Eve. So whenever I see the Adam and Eve energy, I think of twin energy. Like I think it's a connection that is like historic and meant to happen and meant to teach those historic lessons. Um, but you really loved and embraced this energy with this person. Obviously something happened. Yes, there could have been a third party, but that's not really what it's talking about here. But I'm just throwing it out there because clearly there was a connection with you, but clearly there was a separation as well. It literally could have been that this love was so strong. For some of you, this person may have left right after talking about marriage or something like that, you know, like saying, let's do it. And then they got cold feet. Um, but this was a love that was so strong. This person may just have had to separate themselves and really think about what the heck is going on. And I feel that in this time, I think there's been, there was quite a long separation. For some of you, you were separated from this person for 10 years, okay, or something like that. Um, just a very long time. Even if it was just two years, that's still a very long time. But in this time, this person literally like let go of their old self, let go of their old beliefs, let go of everything. Um, for some of you, this person was like religious or psych, not, well, maybe psychic, but maybe believing in things like, um, and I mean, it's not that you can't believe in it, but I feel like this person, maybe they had a bad reading, honestly, like, or something, or they got a bad message from someone who said they were, they knew, you know, I know what's going to happen. Um, and this person is letting that go. I feel like that may have affected this person. Maybe someone just gave them some sort of bad message and said, I know what's going to happen and you're doomed or something like this. I also see that there was this delay because of a choice of what to make. So it really could have had to do um, with another connection they had or another path that this person was on. But during this temporary pause, this person has reflected and gained insight. There's been an awakening. This person is seeing everything in a whole new light. This person is now embracing your connection and the uniqueness of it. Um, and this person is like, they've dropped all of their old beliefs. They may have also done a lot of clearing energy where they possibly gave things away. Whatever it is, this person has come to this new awakening energy about the connection. And this person is coming back with the judgment for renewal. This is being de divinely guided, divinely destined this is meant to come back this is meant it's not over yet type of a thing that i'm getting here and i almost feel like the reason this card was kind of in reverse is finally this person is seeing the magic and um, the opportunity that this connection was presenting their heart this was a very special connection taurus also, this person was getting distracted by something else. So maybe it wasn't a third party. Like maybe the third party wasn't a person is what I should say. But there was a choice. There definitely is an energy here. Choice, 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 choice. Um, so anyhow, this person has woken up. And they're realizing they want to be 
back in this connection. I feel like you could be dealing with a fire sign, an emperor energy, um, someone who was honestly wondering what they wanted to do for a while. And I do feel like this person did actually kind of drop the connection, but I'm not sure as to where they were going. It really could have been work. Um, it could have been them just focusing on themselves and their own, getting their fortress type of thing. Um, but this person did, in the separation, get to uh, disconnect and see this in a new light, okay? So this is a beautiful energy. Let's get some clarification. So the lover says these two cards, clarifying it both in reverse, the Ten and the Five of Pentacles. That is about a situation that ended. Um, I see money was involved here, but I'm seeing more ending energy. And with the renewal, here we go. It's the world card. And we know this has to do with kind of a closure and then reopening. And beautiful that there's two people there, like literally about to make love. So Six of Wands. And okay. there we go. And then the emperor, please. Wow. So yeah, there's definitely a reconnection coming in with the knight of wands at the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Taurus. It looks like with the love connection, how it's being clarified is that, yeah, there was. There may have actually been a serious commitment with you and this person. You, Some of you may have children with this person, um, but, you know, there was an ending there. And I feel like this, this, because I don't know why someone may have stayed. There's an energy here where there was a commitment that ended. Oh, maybe this person went back to another situation. Like I said, whatever that other situation was, it could be anything, including financial situation, bottom line, right? But during that time, there's something this person realized about that. Maybe that money doesn't make them happy or maybe, um, I don't know, like the power that they had, it wasn't what they wanted, Okay, and instead they wanted probably to be back in their loving connection with you, that loving situation with you. So with the renewal energy coming up with the world, this is literally about something that had ended, moving forward into a new cycle for this connection. And it's going to be very successful. But there's also this person kind of, I don't think they're taking their time. Oh, because this person wants to like, really, when this person does come in, they want, um, they don't want to hide any of it. That's what I'm getting here. They may also want to surprise you or it may just be a surprise. It's funny because I kind of feel like this person comes in and then you're just like, whoop a doo do <laughs> so, Like not in a bad way, but in the way like, okay, you're here. Yeah, finally. <laughs> um, so with the four of cups in the reverse, so this person is finally realizing that there is an opportunity here and I'm hearing a golden opportunity and not just that the wheel of fortune. It's like what went down is now coming up. It's now coming into a good place. And I do feel that this person is seeking you out with that Eagle up there. They've had their eye on you. Um, they want to come back to you. I feel like you're doing quite well. You're quite happy. This person is very drawn. They're very sad. They let you go unless it's you that let them go. You know, someone's very sad that they let them go. Um, and they're rushing back in is what I see, okay, from the Ace of Wands to the Knight of Wands. This person will be rushing back in, even if there was a bit of a delay in this. I don't know, that whippity-woo thing. I just feel like I'm going to be like, yay, yeah, you're back. <laughs> so a card for you and a card for your person. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, wow. Gosh, you and your person are really really come out of some dark energy, right? Because they both came in the upright. So we have the trickster and the vampire. The trickster is about transcending conventional stiffness and predictable behavior. So whether that be you or the person, um, and I do think it's your person because that's a card that came for your person. Uh, oh no, it came for you actually. Yeah, because I asked for you and your person. So the trickster did come for you. So um, if you relate to this energy, what I feel is that maybe you had to kind of get out of a stiff energy, um, a, a not understanding. Um, 
and the unpredictable. You had to get more unpredictable. There was something there. Maybe it was stagnant, right? Maybe things were just not really moving. And whoever this trickster was, it's not actually that they're being a trickster. It's like they're a magician. They're like, we're going to get out of this. We're going to create something fun. We're going to do something new. Uh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> With the vampire energy, it's about making you aware that someone or something was draining your life force. So this could both be a combined energy, I feel almost. I feel like something was draining the life force in this connection because it was getting too predictable or something like that. So I'm going to pull one more card now just for another energy. Okay, so we do have the orphan and that is about independence based on learning to go at it alone, conquering fear of survival. So that could have been what someone here, what their lesson was. It could have been about uh, learning it's okay to be alone. It's okay for endings to happen. Um, just because something ends, it does not mean it's over forever type of thing. Uh, someone could have been battling their abandonment issues. And the other person could have been realizing like, hey, that person's draining me. They're, I, they're always the same. They're always miserable. Or they're always, you know, doing something. So you both had your challenges. I really do feel that that's a possible um, scenario here because of the fact that you started with the lovers and then there's a renewal. Okay. So there's something in between that happens. Anyhow, Taurus, thank you so much. Sorry for any background noise. I hear someone out there vacuuming. Hope you enjoyed this reading. Feel free to join me on Patreon. Uh, if you got anything from this reading, I'd really love it if you liked the video to show me that you did get something from, the, from this reading. Otherwise, don't forget to let me know where you're from because I just, I don't know why it gives me energy when I read all the different states and all the different countries that people are from, cities. Um, I just love it. Okay, guys. So thank you so much. Have yourself a beautiful March.